brothers and sisters, I know right now it seems uncertain. Riots in the streets, a lot of people are hurting. But I can tell you one thing, in the end, God wins. Intermingled with great pain, we've lost so much to this devastating, this devastating pandemic. The emergence of new technologies and global health and, the, and a global health threat counter, council toward global COVID response, the global COVID response. Vaccinating the world and building back better from the borderless climate crisis, from the United States and other from other donors. Working with com countries, technology to reduce the rest, the risk. Similarly, we know the bitter string of terrorism. The bitter sting of terrorism is, is real. The United States is committing to use, committed to using our resources. When the earthquake strikes, we're fighting between warm, warring parties, heroic, horrific violence, and a belief in the universe. When it occurs in, whether it occurs in LGBTQI, the authoritarians in the world, proud Moldovans, built, broke, now, together, climactic climate change. From COVID to climate, we, you and I, is its first three beautiful words. They are, we the people. Generations of Americans have sacrificed to maintain the promise of those words, the promise of our country and of our great history. In America, the people govern, the people rule, and the people are sovereign. I was elected not to take power, but to give power to the American people where it belongs. In foreign affairs, we are renewing this founding principle of sovereignty. Our government's first duty is to its people, to our citizens, to serve their needs, to ensure their safety, to preserve their rights, and to defend their values. As President of the United States, I will always put America first.